hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. Buhay Online Sikahan at kaalamang pangkabuhayan Ating tunghayan Pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online Buhay Online Sikahan at kaalamang pangkabuhayan Alamin ang pinakalates trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang saan ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito At ngayon, narito na ang ating host ang ating Teki Mami Si J. C. Bautista Hello, hello. A very pleasant good morning. Good morning sa lahat. Happy Friday sa ating lahat ng mga nanonood today. Salamat, salamat at sasamahan niyo ako sa loob ng isang, uh, isang oras. Uh, actually, less than that because I medyo na late time of Pasok today. Uh, I, uh, yesterday was my first time to to to, to broadcast after three days po kasi that I've been under the weather. Nagkasakit po kasi po, hindi ako makapag online. Uh, itong past uh, early part of the week. Uh, tapos pa, sunod-sunod po talaga, actually, nung Wednesday, uh, my father, my my future father-in-law passed away. It was a very uh, tragic time for us, for the family, the Lakap family, kasi birthday po nung aking uh, father-in-law nung, nung, nung Wednesday 16th, tapos nagkaroon siya ng heart attack and he passed away. So condolences to the Lakap family, to the family of my fiancé, Jeremy Lakap, the Lakap family for on the passing of Tito Jaime. But um, on a uh, on another on a on a naman, on a happy note, of course. Uh, now we're uh, in the subject of online businesses and working from home and what the sort of jobs we can do right when we're online. That's what we're tackling today. Uh, there are five types of online businesses. Okay, let's uh, let's look at it. Okay, uh, ang, uh, five types of online businesses. Ito, akong ano rito, eh. There you go. Online video, blogging, affiliate marketing, information products, drop shipping. Okay, let's talk about these types of online businesses. Okay. Alright, okay. Pag-usapan natin to medyo in, uh, in more detail, okay? There, there's different types of online businesses to be had, na pwedeng magawa. And uh, I'm gonna, I was, I started to tell you kung ano yung mga lucrative na negosyo itong panahon na to. Uh, you can actually, yung sinabi ko kahapon, number one, you can start your own clothing line, di ba? If you have some designs in mind, a little bit of time on your hands, you can get your clothing company off the ground. If you already own a Shopify store, you can set up your own clothing line para, para, or a similar product sourcing app. Each automatically uh, li links your store to apparel printers and clothing manufacturers. They also handle every step of the retail fulfillment process for you. So, meron na ngayong mga apps, okay, na pwede mong magamit, right? Like, like Overlaw, Printify, and uh, print, Printful, okay? So, kung ikaw ay uh, designer or artistic naman, you know, you might want to start your own clothing line. Why start a, a clothing line business? Kasi there's nothing more satisfying than creating products that people will use every day, diba? As soon as you build your Shopify store, you'll be able to start selling instantly. Hindi okay lang yun. Itong ating live show, okay lang na dumaan kayo. <laughs> Hindi kasi lesson. Yun ang akin. Nandito ako, nakiki, ano ako, itong show ko today, I'm broadcasting from from my neighbors. <laughs> kasi nawala, na, nawala yung internet ko temporarily. But anyway, so yun nga, uh, 
starting an online business, uh, isa-isahin natin yun kung ano-ano yung mga pwede natin gawin. Then, starting an on a clothing line, your own clothing line. Tapos, ano, ano pa? Ito, ito, popular nowadays to, ang dropshipping store. Ano, ano ang dropshipping? Do, do you think you need a warehouse full of inventory to run your own business? Hindi. Kasi, ang dropshipping is a great way to start a business on a budget. You can hit the ground running by sourcing a pre-existing product from a supplier and having them take care of things like packaging and fulfillment. So, this process lets you skip over a lot of obstacles that might be standing in the way na, na para ikaw yung magsimula ng sarili mo negosyo. Mas importante kasi it eliminates the risk of finding out there's no market for your product after placing a huge order with the manufacturer or supplier. So, bakit kagagamit ng dropshipping? Kasi you don't need to stock products in a physical location, right? Meaning that your cash flow won't get tied up sa inventory. There's less of an upfront cash risk. Whenever a purchase is made, you place an order with a third party, diba? and they handle the rest of the process for you. So, parang ikaw lang yung nagbimiddleman yan. Ikaw yung kumukuha ng orders, right? Since you don't have to deal with things like tracking inventory or mailing packages, drop shipping eliminates a lot of potential headaches para sa mga budding entrepreneurs. Kasi walang warehouse means you can run your business from anywhere. Kasi hindi naman, wala sa yung physical inventory eh, nandun doon sa, sa ano, kadil mo na, na company. Whether it's your living room or the cafe down the street, you decide where you want to work from. Ganyan ang, ang kagandahan nun. It's, it's mob, uh, yung convenience tsaka mobility. So, kung interesado kang mag, to venture into the dropshipping business, you know, you don't have to, uh, pag wala, kung wala kang idea tungkol sa online store, itong mga itong mga apps na to ang pwede niyo gamitin find find products to sell or itong mga market tawag nito parang um, marketplace find products to sell on overlo yan pa you know ano pang pwedeng gawin uh, online hindi lang drop shipping is nowadays marami na nagbebenta ng artwork online talaga yung na lang facebook ko oh, ang dami daming artists na nagpapa-friend Tingnan mo lahat artists ang magbebenta ng mga paintings nila. Kasi nga, it could be lucrative. Sell your art online. Whether you're a painter, a photographer, or a musician, there are plenty of ways to start an online business and turn your latest masterpiece into a source of revenue with a beautifully designed e-commerce website. Kaya nga, di ba, nowadays talaga pagandahan lang yan ng, ng presentation, eh, ng, ng branding, and how you present yourselves. That's why it's it's a uh, ang dami ngayon talagang nag-hire ng mga in graphic artists tsaka yung gumagawa din ng mga videos right so that you can present your products online. If uh kaya if painting or photography ang forte mo, you can sell your work as prints, as canvases and frame posters using Printify or Printful. This is a fantastic way to turn your art into something tangible, tangible that people can take home and integrate sa workspace nila or any space in their house. Kung music naman ng ano mo, ang forte mo, you can sell your beats, your songs, your samples, even your songs, and, and more as digital products. So, itong selling your art online means any kind of art naman, whether it's nga photographer, musician, pwede mo na ngayon lahat yan gawin ibenta online, right? So, why sell your art? Because you'll be a part of people's lives by getting your work into customers' homes. Talaga naman, magiging personal yan kasi pag binili nila yung artwork mo, part, part ka na ng buhay nila dahil nalagay ka na sa bahay. You'll create a platform for showcasing your work by setting up shop online. As an artist, creating art isn't just a hobby. It's a way of life. Totoo naman. This is your chance to turn your passion into an income stream and potentially do what you love for a living. There's money in selling art. But now, you can do it selling it online. So, how to sell art online? How do you sell art online for, for artists who already monetize? Well, 
when uh, kasi the, yung mga today, the starving artist is a dying joke. Independent artists can sell sufficiently fund their craft by selling work directly to their fans. Pag ito yung mga medyo known na na artist, na, pero kung struggling artist kayo na the, the uh, going online is a good way talaga rin to sell your art. Dahil yung mga one-man show, yung mga exhibit ngayon, pwede na rin virtual eh. Doon mo na pwede i-present yung art mo. So, how do you sell art online? Whether you're a creator or, or a curator looking to make money selling art online, we, uh, ito yung mga kailangan mong gawin. You have to meet with the experts, di ba? So, kailangan mo, meron kang mag, mag uh, ano ng art mo, mag-curate. Kung talagang art ha, yung mga paintings and all. Pero dito sa Pilipinas kasi, hindi naman masyadong uso yung ganun. In, in fact nga, the, a lot of artists, the new ones, I see them, they're selling their arts sa, sa social media. Yes. Kasi the social media market has become really, really a marketplace for anything. Hindi na lang yan social. Eh. It's actually business. Uh, on Facebook, you know, we have a lot of people na na displaying their art diba? on social media, on Instagram. So, yan ang ginagawa nilang marketplace. So, that's why ang selling art online is lucrative as a business. Ano pa? Ang pwedeng gawin online? Becoming a freelance writer, designer, or developer. Okay? Writers, developers, and graphic designers can start a business based on their talents. Okay? As a freelancer, you'll be able to put your skills to good use by helping people across the world with their projects. Siyempre, uh, in, 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 in the same process, or at the same time, making money, siyempre. Ba't ka naman nagbatrabaho ng libre? Freelancing doesn't mean committing to months-long projects that eat away at your free time. You can easily pick up maliliit na tasks to fit your schedule. Okay? So, yung company na, di ba, yung lagi ko minimension na company, yung Upwork, di ba, where you can get jobs as a freelancer, you can post your resume there. Yan, yung Upwork, tsaka ngayon, Fiverr. Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. It's worth noting that Fiverr is a little different from a traditional job board. As the name suggests, a lot of the posted jobs, you know, ito sa Amerika to eh, itong Fiverr. Ang, ang offer nila, $5. The key to making big money on Fiverr. Kaya Fiverr yun, yung, yung uh, job board na yun. Kasi nga, marami nagpo-post na jobs dun. $5 per hour ang charge nila. The key to making big, big money on this platform, Fiverr, is carefully setting up your offers so you can easily upsell the client for more money. For instance, you could offer to write Kanyari, 150-word introduction for a blog post as your initial service. As an upsell, we could charge more, kanyari, another $10, si $5 to, for every additional 150 words. You can tweak your services until you find a, a perfect combo that makes it worth your while. So if you want to con take control over how much you charge, create a Shopify store. You can list your products and disable shipping since you won't actually be physically delivering anything to your customers. Not virtually. Eh? So, you can even use apps like Book That App and Events Calendar to give your customers the option to schedule appointments. So, why do, why would you freelance? Diba? So, good question. Why not? Because talaga, freelance talaga can be very lucrative and you could also be earning more, a lot more money. Yun lang nga, wala silang benefits kasi hindi ka regular employee. But, Sa laki ng kikitain mo, ikaw, ikaw na bumili ng ano mo, insurance, right? So, why freelance? When you freelance, kasi, syempre, you choose which projects you want to work on. And then you set your own schedule and workplace. Getting paid to do something you're good at is a very rewarding feeling, syempre naman, right? Bakit naman hindi? Getting paid to do what you love to do, di ba? Why, why isn't that rewarding? Syempre, 
Whether you're looking to strike out on your own or just want to make some extra cash on the weekend, you know, being a freelancer will help. If you're, if you're new to writing, kunyari, designing or developing, freelancing is an excellent way to build your portfolio and get some real experience in a wide range of industries. You might discover that you have a knack for, or passion for something you never expected. Lalo lang nga itong pandemic, pandemic na ito eh. Ang dami-daming mga tao na, na nare-examine yung sarili nila and, and found out that they're capable of doing other things. Some people have even uh, shifted careers because of this pandemic. Especially people that are stuck in their homes working from home. You know, you, you can find a lot of jobs online there like in Upwork nga or Fiverr. Okay? If freelancing sounds like it might be a good money-making website idea for your lifestyle, then do so. Go, then go for it. Talaga. Mag-freelance kayo kasi yun nga, yung amount of money na ma-earn nyo depends on how much work you can handle. Okay. Isa pang lucrative thing online is teaching an online course. Right. Teaching an online course kasi is a low investment business idea for generating passive income. Bakit? Because ang kailangan nyo lang gawin is to put together a video walkthrough, a, a video walkthrough explaining a subject you're familiar with and then post it on your personal website. Although it requires effort up front, if you manage to design a popular high value video tutorial series, you would make money on an ongoing basis as people continue to enroll in your course. To start creating your first online course, brainstorm a topic that you know well enough to teach somehow how to do it from scratch, right? This can be literally anything, diba? Yeah, so music production, social media marketing, web development, you name it. Next, you'll want to grab a screencasting app like ScreenFlow to record your screen and voice while you walk your students through your tutorial. ScreenFlow also comes with a built-in video editing suite, letting you shoot and cut your videos all at the, on the same platform. So, bakit ka magtuturo online ng online course? Kasi with an online course, you can literally set it and forget it. Take a few days or weeks depending on the complexity you're aiming for, build an online course, and you could be reaping benefits for weeks. Tsaka talaga pagka online course, diba? you set your own pace, you fix your own cur curriculum. Pero ano talaga, nowadays, diba, sabi sa inyo, nowadays, you can be a trainer for anything. It's, you don't even have to be, have a PhD to train something online, train sa, a course online. Ang dami-dami nag-invento ng sarili nilang course. And then, because doing something they're good at, doing something that they know about, and making money at that. So, teaching an online course can be very lucrative talaga. Kasi ang kailangan lang doon experience at expertise. So, no need for a PhD. Okay? So, that's what, uh, that's my take on an online course. Kasi sa online course, you already have the knowledge. You just need to share it. Focus on teaching something that you're already an expert at and the rest will come naturally. Talaga. Kung, kung magaling na magaling ka na dun sa, sa field na yun eh. Diba? Bakit hindi mo i-share? Uh, focus on teaching something that you're already an expert at. Whether it's building iOS, iOS apps, creating monthly budgets, or running Facebook ad campaigns, teaching someone a new skill is its own reward. While there's definitely money to be made, each made each uh, teaching online courses, uh, helping other people is always a satisfying experience in itself, di ba? Kasi nga, magtuturo ka, makaka, makakapag, uh, makakapag-share ka ng knowledge, makakatulong ka, at makakaturo ka. Of course, kumikita ka pa, right? Ito to, sa Amerika, popular tong story. An ano na to eh? online business book na ito. It's called Flip Your Thrift Store Finds. If you love hitting mga thrift stores, sa Amerika kasi uso yung mga thrift shop. Sa atin parang ukay-ukay. Diba? Pag mahilig kayong mag-hunting ng mga great deals, 
then one great e-commerce business idea is to sell your second-hand treasures online. Totoo yan. Pwede mong i- 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 ibenta yung mga collection mo dyan or yung mga vintage uh, things mo. You know, the, the e-com- one great e-commerce business idea is to sell nga these second-hand things. Your potential customers want to buy cool stuff, but they don't want to dig through old soccer jerseys and braided belts to get their hands on that one amazing find. Take advantage of this by positioning yourself as a worthy curator who can go out and uncover those great vintage pieces. Yung narinig ako nag-ring. Hindi sa atin sa labas. Oo nga, baka si Boknoy. Anyway, sorry, pasensya. Kala ko kasi inahan. Kanina ko pa hinahanap my phone. I know. But anyway, that's why I couldn't monitor my my broadcast here. But yeah, so yesterday I gave an overview of the surprising working from home productivity statistics, di ba? Malaki na talaga yung stats na yan. A lot of people are working home nowadays, if not all. Kasi nga, pati yung mga corporations na go work from home. So yesterday, we, I told you about that. And now, naman, sinasabi natin kung ano yung mga work from home things that we can do. So, going back to the, the type of online businesses. Yan, yung thrift store is sa atin, okay, okay yung tawag doon. Sa America, thrift shop. Kasi your potential customers want to buy cool stuff, but they don't want to dig in through all soccer jerseys or mga kalumaan. Pero, pero gusto naman nagtaga makahanap ng mga good buys. Kaya nga marami na nagpa-patronize ng mga ukay-ukay, right? So ngayon, yung ukay-ukay, pwede mo nang dalhin online, right? Why sell your thrift store finds? Let's face it, you'd be combing through thrift store racks anyway. So we might as well make some money while you do it by putting your shopping addiction to work. The margins are huge. The $2 Radio Shack ball cap you found over the weekend, you can turn it into a $40 vintage hat, right? You're selling something unique. Nowhere else on the web will, peop- will people be able to find the vintage the vintage collections that you put together. So, yan ang reason kung bakit lucrative yung thrift store or ukay-ukay business online, okay? Okay. Tapos ano pa ito, common to now, they start a blog, starting a blog, di ba? Blogging has come a long way since the beginning na, na uh, lumabas or sumikat ang pagbablog. What was once a virtual journal has now turned into a marketing and even monetization tool. Whether you make money from publishing sponsored posts, hosting third-party ads, or selling your products, a blog is a great online business idea you can start at home. Okay. The key to starting a successful blog is to focus on building an engaged local audience. When you start with an audience-centric approach, you'll cultivate a community that trusts you. And when you can earn trust, you can start to drive revenue. Tama, okay? So if you have any questions, please feel free to field your questions on my messenger account or dito sa broad streamcast communicators page and we'll answer you as much as as, as soon and as much as we can okay so the next thing well, bucket why do you start why would you start a blog kasi uh, blogs have unlimited growth potential you can expand into affiliate marketing e-commerce courses and essentially any other online business venture some blogs even use a paid subscription model to drive revenue. Ang blog kasi is long-term play. While you won't see overnight results, they are likely to be more sustainable. Ang blog kasi, imagine ninyo, pag sa internet kayo nag, nag-business, it, it leaves a permanent ano, imprint dyan sa internet. So ang blog lives on kasi nandun na yung article na sunulat mo forever, hindi na yan mabubura. So the people can keep going back to it, or at least until you delete it. It lets you practice your writing, an essential skill to have in business and communication. Use tools like Writer or Hemingway to improve your writing or yung Grammarly. Nowadays, meron na talagang hindi lang spell check at word check. It's already 
a grammar check, right? So, the next one, okay, is to become a virtual assistant. Tama. Are you, if you're super organized, if you are super organized and love working behind the scenes, you might be the perfect candidate to start a virtual assistant business, okay? A VA, or virtual assistant, helps entrepreneurs, businesses, and executives organize their personal and professional lives. Wow, di ba? Pero yun na nga, parang executive assistant yan, pero online. Ang tawag dyan, virtual assistant. Ang dami nag-hire ngayon dyan. Countries like Australia. Kasi nga, ano tayo, eh, cheap labor sa Philippines. So that's why they like hiring Filipinos. Aside from the fact na we know how to speak English, tumatanggap natin yung murang sweldo. Sad but true. Okay? A VA helps entrepreneurs, businesses, and executives organize their professional lives. There's a broad spectrum of duties ranging from appointment scheduling to basic marketing management and everything in between. And everything is done online. So why become a virtual assistant? Una una, work with your ideal client, di ba? Even if you don't know at the start, over time, you'll find who you love working with and what you love to do for them. You can evolve your business to cater to these preferences. Dapat, at saka dapat yan, may interaction ka with the world. Kasi nga, because of uh, technology and because of the internet, we are, um, um, you always have to remember that your target market has now changed to the world. Instead of the local lang kinakontak mo or kinatry mo target, now it's already global, di ba? Interact with people from all over the world. All you need is an internet connection to do your work, and you can have the chance to work with international clients and professionals. So, grow your business into a network of VAs. Tama. If you become too busy or have grown goals, you can hire and train VAs to work and, you know, you can hire and train VAs to work under you and increase profits, right? Okay, so that's why you should become a VA. Next, try your hand at being an influencer. Diba? Uso ngayon yung operative word na influencer. Nung araw, dahil nga dyan sa mga yan, ngayon kasi, hindi na kailangan yung ahensya. It does away with the middleman kasi a lot of the mga companies and products pinadadala na ng diretsyo dun sa influencer or dun sa mga celebrities or the endorsers. So, influencer marketing has, has exploded on the marketing, marketing scene. Talaga. And through consumers are big... Um, tsaka, kasi nga, ang consumers ay nagiging mas tech-savvy there are still plenty of business opportunities to be had because influencers have gotten in hot water for, for these honest practices. There's been movement toward microfluencers, profiles with smaller but more engaged followings. Okay, you don't need millions of followers to be on Instagram. You don't need millions of followers to earn money on Instagram. Ah, di mabuti naman. So why be an influencer? Well, it's an opportunity to get an introduction to marketing. Particularly, it's valuable if you're interested in pursuing that as a career or an additional business venture. You'll learn about new and interesting brands. You might discover products and companies that you said that you never would have found had they not solicited your services. It is easy, a monkey, it's so easy a monkey can do it. Well, not literally. Because you can make your pet the star of your, if your camera is shy. All right. Very good. So here are inspiring tips and stories to get you started as an influencer. Well, we'll talk more about that in more detail next week na lang. Okay? Because we are, we will, kasi we, I want to go over the other ones muna. But then, specifically, if we want to tackle a specific uh, number here or a topic or the jobs, we'll do it another time, okay? 
So, build apps and websites. Ayan pang lucrative nowadays, building apps at building websites. Kasi kung tech sabi ka, kailangan ka kung acquire some coding skills, skills and start building. Well, I don't have to do that because I have a son who's an IT guy. Siya na lang gagawa ng for me. Whether it's mobile apps, shop, Shopify apps, or websites, you can create digital project products for purchase as a service provider. Okay. Wala yata ang aking tita Heidi ngayon. Ay, tita Heidi. Tita Agnes, palaging nanonood yun. Busy. Busy. Oo nga, busy. Kaya, okay, nagluluto. Dahil nga para sa aming patay. As I said, namatayan po kami. Condolence to the Laka family again. So, building apps and, apps and websites are it's become really lucrative. For example, you can create a custom Shopify theme template and sell it to merchants looking for an affordable DIY approach to designing their website. Our work with clients or work with clients directly to build websites and apps tailored to their specific needs. So, so why build websites and apps? Technology isn't going anywhere. Of course not. It's moving forward. Pa. And the demand for the technical skills necessary to build apps and websites will only continue to grow. Kasi nga, there's an endless number of platforms and systems out there. If you get bored of one, Learn and transition to another. For more information on the ba on building apps, we'll talk about it another time. Just uh, just leave your questions in my inbox, Messenger. Okay, thank you. What else? Launch your own podcast. If you like the sound of your own voice, consider recording for a podcast. Podcasts are a great home business idea with multiple monetization options. Similar to starting a blog. Here's what you need to start your podcast, okay? A high-quality microphone, audio recording software, and a call recording software. To promote your own podcast, consider collaborating with prominent figures as guests on the show. Encourage listeners to leave reviews and share your podcast with friends and family. Okay. Hold on. All right. Okay lang yung mga, for those who want to send in their questions, I please just message me at Broadstreamcast Communicators or my personal messenger sa Facebook and we will gladly answer your questions as much as we can. Okay? So going back, to promote your podcast, okay, consider collaborating with permanent figures as guests to the show. Encourage listeners, uh, encourage nyo yung mga listeners to leave reviews and share your podcast with their friends and family. So, bakit ka mag ng podcast? Kasi podcasts continue to grow in popularity. According to Podcast Insights, 51% ng mga Amerikano have listened to a podcast. A successful podcast can lead to endless possibilities. Turn your episodes into a blog. So, solicit sponsors and advertisers. And make connections you never would have been able to before. It's some sort of networking. You know, in a smaller scale, I think. So, ito na. You mentioned ko kanina sa business. Become an affiliate marker. I marketer. Ano ba yan? Affiliate marketing. What is it? It's when you recommend a product or service by sharing it on a blog or social media to your email list. Yan ang tinatawag na affiliate marketing. On your website or on other channels, you earn a commission each time someone converts through your unique referral link or code system. Okay? So why become an affiliate marketer? For an affiliate program that suits your interest, personal brand, and target audience, there's these apps to use, Affiliate Future, Share Sale, and Flex Offers are a common example, okay? Amazon has its own uh, affiliate marketing, right? And Flex offers a few samples. Amazon has its own affiliate program, and you can also check it out at the Shopify affiliate program. 
Once you sign up, start sharing. Create special media posts, blog articles, emails, and other content about how to create, to create the product or services you're promoting. Don't oversaturate your audience with ads. Otherwise, you risk coming across as spammy or inauthentic. So, bakit mo gagawin ng affiliate marketing? It's easy kasi you already promote the product and services you use. Tapos, kababayaran ka pa. Pinapromote mo, pabayaran ka pa kasi may commission ka dun sa pinromote mo. Affiliate marketing is a great source of passive income. Okay? With the Shopify affiliate program, affiliates can earn sa Amerika an average of $58 for each user, imagine no, sa bawat tao na mag-sign up. Magsa-sign up lang ng paid plan, $58 na. So, ikaw, hanap ka ng mga tao na mag-sign up, right? Tapos, meron pang $2,000 na referral yan. And this is all online, ha? You can do this job passively, right? Ano pa? Ano pang pwedeng gawin? Online? is to curate subscription packages, okay? Subscription packages are theme packages of various products. They are there are subscription boxes in pretty much either every industry. From meal preparation kits and craft snacks to fitness products and makeup, you can curate subscription boxes around virtually any theme of your choice. When you curate subscription boxes, you work with brands and artisans to purchase and resell their products in a bundled offering. Typically, ang mga consumers kasi expect to be surprised by what's in the box. Though there are some, di ba, yung mga nagpe-prepare ng mga meals, al alam mo na kung alam nando, pero yung customer ang gumipili what they receive, right? So why curate subscription boxes? It's, it's viable, seasonable business. Ironically, subscription boxes are purchased as gifts more often than for the buyers themselves. So if you're interested in running on your online business for part of the year, this could be the model worth checking out. Okay? So kung nag-iisip ko yung mag-online business, ayan, check out yung curating subscription boxes. It's a growing industry. Subscription commerce sales grew from 57 million to 211 to more than 2.6 billion in 2016. You don't need to create your own products. Instead, you can use proven, successful products and simply put them together in a nice package, right? Parang nani-remodel mo lang yung mga old. All right? So how to start? A subscription business, we'll talk about that next time, okay? So, ano pa, ano pa ang pwedeng gawin online, the business, that's quite lucrative, is to develop a niche market. Hanapin yung niche nyong market, i-target nyo, right? If you recognize an opportunity in a certain niche, you might be on to your next successful online business. Okay? Niche products caters to a unique audience. When done well, they, they serve a specific community. Niches can be based on identity or, or industry, demographics, price points, geography, values, product attributes, and more. Yun na nga, yung shopping behavior ng, ng, ng tao. Demographics, importante. Really, a niche could be anything specific enough to target a small group of potential customers. For example... Ang mga conscious na consumers think ang pagiging vegetarian is sustainable and eco-friendly products and brands, yun mga, mga trying to save the environment. Tapos, uh, these are the kind of niches. Pet owners, you can even drill down by pet type. Remote workers, these professionals have specific attributes different from the traditional office worker. So why develop a niche product? Because Niche products are unique and they are buzzworthy. Early success can be all you need to drive and press. Right? So, ang niche products dapat unique. Yung, yung, yung mga binibenta nyo online, dapat uh, pakita nyo na ang offer nyo hindi lang kapareho ng lahat. 
Though niching down might be scary to some, choosing a specific target market makes it easier to create marketing and messaging that resonates. Rather than, than trying to speak a broad, diverse group, you're talking to a group of individuals with lots of different characteristics. Kaya nga eh, yung, ano yan, yung demographics, importante, tsaka yung, ano, yung eh, check nyo, eh, research nyo, yung, titignan nyo yung shopping behavior ng mga tao online. Ano pang nabinibenta online nowadays? It's when you're creating handmade, handmade goods or yung mga handicrafts, right? If you're particularly artsy or crafty, selling handmade products would be a great e-commerce business idea for you. Whether you make jewelry, picture frames, or furniture, one business idea to monetize your craft skills is sell products online. Very good. Hello. So, Hello. Pasensya. Ah, not the right throat ko. Yun nga. Ang, 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 ang dami na nag, naggagawa ngayon ng mga, mga bracelet, mga ganyan, or fine jewelry, they all sell it na online. As, parang kapareho lang ng mga artist na nagbebenta ng painting nila online. Pwede rin yung mga handmade goods. Well, you can use platforms like Craig, Craigslist or Etsy. Your own online store will give you more control and make it easier to track and fulfill orders. So, bakit kailangan mong magbenta ng handmade goods? Well, kasi you devote as much or as little time as you want. Depende sa iyo yun. It's your choice how big you want to grow. Create your own schedule. Make your handmade goods on a week on a set schedule when you have spare time or whenever you want. Turn your passion into income. Like many of the online business ideas on this list, an entrepreneur... An, an entrepreneurial endeavor backed by passion leads to more a more fulfilling experience. So, so after saying all that, okay, how do you start an online business? Okay, well, once you've decided on an on, on, on an online business idea, you'll want to do your due diligence and eventually give it give it life. So here's how to start uh, an online business step by step. Unang una, validate your idea with market research. It might sound harsh, but it's true. Just because you think you have a great idea, that doesn't mean that there's a market for it, right? Kasi hindi lahat ng great idea pwede mo i-market. Before investing your time and energy into starting your own business, reach, <clears throat> research muna. I think na yung feasibility. And, of whether there's any potential buyers or interest. You can hire an agency, pero nowadays talaga nga, it did, tinatanggal na yung ahensya tungkol sa, ano nga yan, dahil nga kasi nakakapag-advertise ng diretso yung, yung uh, uh, business online. Tsaka nakakadiretso na sila sa mga influencer or yung mga in artista because they, they just message each other and tell them they will send them products or things like that. So you can hire an agency, fine, to conduct market research for you. But if you're on a budget, you can also take the do-it-yourself approach, which is what my 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 friend Teresa Loisaga did. Okay, so she ang nagmarket ng sarili niya. So what's important is also how to validate your idea with market research. It's true, but just because you think you have a great idea, it doesn't mean that there's a market for it. Kaya bago kayo mag-embark on that, mag-feasibility study muna kayo, okay? So developing your product or service. Sandali lang. Yes. Just make sure that uh, please just message us for questions. Okay, develop your product or service. You've validated your idea. Okay, now it's time to turn it into reality. Whether ang binibenta mo a product or service, kailangan mo ito i-create. Find a manufacturer to bring your product to life. Create packages of your service offerings or write a book and identify a self-publishing option to bring it to fruition. 
Kasi if you go the drop shipping route, the product has already been developed for you. It's up to you to choose the products you're passionate about or you're identified, no? Set up your business finances, diba? How do I open a bank account, a business bank account? It's a common question. Pero punta ka lang naman sa banko, sabihin mo mag, mag ano ka ng business account, eh. That's all. Open a ba- uh, business bank account. After you've officially, uh, after you've officially registered your business with your local government, you should have the tax identification numbers and other information required to open a business bank account. As you grow yung negosyo nyo, you might need funding for future endeavors. Yeah, nga, pag yung negosyo mo nag, medyo nagbuboom na, may, pwede ka nang makakuha pa ng ibang investors na magiging interesado sa iyong inumpisahan. Be it a new product launch or marketing and advertising spend. Having business bank accounts make it easier for you to manage that capital as well as track your revenue and expenses. Having a bank account is also helpful when it comes to tax preparation since your business-related transactions will be in a single place. As your business finances get more complicated, Hiring a professional accountant or tax professional could be a viable thing. Yan na nga, invest on an accountant na mag-aayos ng mga libro nyo. Mag-aay nyo kayong habulin ng BIR. Kayo yung diayos ng papeles. So, ano pa? Marami pa to. Find vendors and suppliers. Product-based online business in particular may require a lot of business relationships. For example, manufacturer, a drop shipper, or a third-party logistics coordinator. When identifying which partnerships you want to make to move forward with, it's best to shop around and compare your options to make sure you're getting the best solution for your needs. Other online business ideas may require different relationships or contractors. If you're writing a book, for example, you may want to hire a professional art editor and book designer. Okay, ito pa, layo naman ko na to. Build your own website. If you want to start an online business, you need to have a website. And to make money online, you need to incorporate payment processing functionality. First, find a business name. Una-una. You can use a business name generator to help come up with one if you're stuck. You'll need one to start building your website. Then choose a domain name huh? and verify that it's available. You can purchase a domain name for less than $20 a year in some cases. From there, you can build your own store on a platform like Shopify and start accepting payments from customers right away. So here's a few reason, resources to help get started with your e-commerce site. Okay? Ang tignan nyo, check it out, Shopify domain name generator. Okay? Yan yung kung gusto yung magpagawa ng pangalan nyo. Okay? Market your new online business. Okay? Kung magtatayo ka ng online business, syempre mo market mo online. Getting your first paying customer is a huge milestone for a new small business now. Now that you've got your store set up, you'll want to start ongoing. Right? If getting your paying customer is a huge milestone. Talaga. Pero once na-set up yung next store mo, then you want to start getting your business out there. But ang mahirap is finding new customers and creating convincing promotions that takes time and energy. Pero kailangan mong gawin, right? There are so many channels to choose from. Email marketing, messenger marketing, mobile marketing, it's hard to know the best way to grow your online business. It's easy to caught up with in the wrong tactics and invest your time and money in the wrong places. Okay? So if you want to make marketing your new uh, store easier, okay, we recommend that you know you you check out first your customers, your potential customers. So bring your online business ideas to life, okay? 
Kasi kung kayo nagko-contemplate na kayo mag-start ng online business niyo, it's time to get out there and create your new startup in your spare time. You don't have to go all in. Start small and start small scale from there muna, di ba? Or keep things small. The, the beauty of learning how to start a business online is that it's completely up to you. Ito naman. Okay? So, do you have any questions about how to start an online business? Please just uh, send me your messages here on Facebook or, or my, my messenger at the World Streamcast Communicators page. All right? So, that was uh, what we talked about uh, online businesses to be had. What about the Philippines? Yun. Sa Philippines, yung sell ng art online. Marami. Maraming artists yan. Tapos, na, may question tayo dito. How do you brainstorm online business ideas? Oh, kaya nga, dapat talaga nag-brainstorm for the next part of your marketing strategy and your plan, di ba? But how do you brainstorm online business ideas? If you're stuck on finding business ideas, there are a few ways to brainstorm through it. Number one, create a brainstorming board and put all your ideas in it. Number two, visit with fresh ideas and refine your list. Number three, get help from friends and, and family. Survey existing customers to find new business ideas. Check search trends on Google, on Google Trends. So, anong pinaka-best online business to start? Sinabi na natin, num number one, drop shipping, or make a clothing line, selling art, curating subscription boxes, selling handmade goods, being an affiliate marketer, a blogger, and then a consulting business. Very good. So, at least pumasok na ako. Pasok na ako sa ganong category. Because... I have my own uh, consultancy firm too. And uh, aside from my uh, creative marketing company that I have partners in, I have my own, uh, as myself, a consulting business. It's PR marketing consultancy. So, kung nangangailangan kayo ng PR marketing specialist, message lang po kayo. Okay? So, what is the best online business to start from home? Number one, it's an e-commerce store. Number two, buying products in bulk to sell online. Number three, teaching online courses. Number four, a writing business. Number five, online services. Number six, selling homemade products. Number seven, starting a YouTube channel. And number eight, becoming a blogger. So, yan yung mga business online na ginagawa ng mga Baguets nowadays. What are some online service business ideas? Graphic design, freelance writing, WordPress development, Shopify, then build, theme building, app development, web design, copywriting. Of course, not to mention SEO optimization or search engine optimization consulting. Kasi mga ano rin tayo dyan. Alam natin gawin. So, how do I start a small online business? Iripaso natin, let yung sinabi natin kanina. Find a gap in a niche market and fill it. Learn how to write copy that sells. Build and design your own website. Get on social media sites like Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Optimize your website for SEO. Become an expert in your industry. Provide excellent customer service and create multiple sources of income. So I need an LLC to sell online. You don't need an LC, LLC to sell online, but it's recommended for you. File for one as a business owner then and help mitigate risks and protect your personal assets in case you end up in a lawsuit or need to file bankruptcy. So that in a nutshell are the the top jobs I think people should have. All right.
Okay, so with this note, I'd like to end this uh, the show today. Ito atin sa mga pinag-usapan nating types of online businesses. No? Maraming maraming salamat sa mga sumali sa atin. Yan yung tita ko nasa likod. Mag-hi ka, tita. <laughs> Opo. <laughs> It's okay. So, ang ganda-ganda lang bago ayos. Yan na. Pupunta kami sa aming patay po after this show. So, uh, thank you so much for joining me and uh, I'll be back on Monday. Sorry sa pag-absent ko ng Monday to Wednesday because I wasn't feeling well. But thank you very much for joining me and please just field your questions through my messenger or through Facebook, Broadstream Cast Communicators. Thank you very much. At uh, as I always say po, huwag mawala ng pag-asa, keep the faith, hope, and love burning in our hearts that the next the, the, every day that we wake up to a new day is, is a good day to be uh, hopeful for right so makita kita tayo sa monday na po ako babalik dahil monday to friday lang tayo thank you very much for those who watched and joined me today uh, and as we talked about the subject of uh, we brushed a bit the work from home but mostly on online businesses that people can do nowadays especially sa pandemic Patuloy pa natin papag-usapan yan dahil marami pa tayo sasabihin about that sa so Monday na lang po. Okay? Kasi we're already uh, tapos na po ang ating programa. Magpulang na tayo sa oras. Pero sa so Monday na lang po. Thank you very much and have a good day everyone and please you know, God bless us all. Have a good weekend. Inyong natuhayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online sa pamamagitan pa rin ng Broad Streamcast Communicators. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po.